Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Um, so I'm Suhaila. I'm Mashita, and we are the KL um, learning designers. So we are from KL team and Mashita. So we have introduced ourselves. So now we want to let's see who yeah. is online. Yeah. And would you like to introduce yourself and yeah. where you're from? Yeah. So we are excited to see mm -hmm. where people are from and um, where you are logging in from. Yes. And today, what we are going to do, Mashita, actually? We are going to show you how easy and simple it is mm -hmm. to create a course on open learning. So you'll be able to do that in just 30 minutes. Okay. Right? So let's see. So we have someone saying hello. It's Najiha Samsudin. And maybe other people can also, I think we have lots of comments today. Maybe one of them can like say, Hello, hey, where are you from? All right. So, um, yeah. Okay. While we are waiting for people to log in from mm -hmm. um different um areas, continents around the world, um, why not we show you mm -hmm. where? Uh, why not we show you the full fledged course and how or what we want to do today and how you will be achieving today right yep um so basically um today um for this uh out for this master class which is to create your course on open learning in 30 minutes um firstly we are going to teach you on how to create course on open learning and also we are going to teach you on how to um, create modules and also pages and we are going to help you and to identify maybe recommended widgets that we have so that you can use um, those widgets for you to come up with your page and also your contents and activities. Okay, so um, just a few things before we start. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have someone, um, Gani Haruko from Australia. Hello. From Hi. Perth, Behavior Z from Perth, Western mm -hmm. Australia. Okay. Okay, so um, just a few things before we start. Um, there's, uh, if you find that the mm. video is blurry, so just um you if you can see at the bottom right hand corner there's a sort of like a gear icon click on the icon and make sure your setting is around 480p or above okay mm -hmm. so uh, if your internet connection is a bit slow or connection is not so good then maybe it will uh, automatically go into a lower um, pixel yeah, so um yeah, so just um, make sure you're comfortable and yes. I'm going to share a screen now that will show you what we would like to achieve at the end of um, this 30-minute session. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, well, well, Machita is sharing this screen. So again, if you still need to check on your internet connections or your like to change the quality of the video if your internet is a bit slow, do it right now before we really, really start later on to go into deeper into the contents. Okay. So, all right. So this is a course, an example course on the open learning platform. So um, once as a course creator, when you create a course, these are some of the buttons that you can see to you, are viewable to you just as a course creator. Okay, then um, besides the tabs on the left hand side, um, you can see that from home until certification status will be available to the students, whereas course setup administer certification is only viewable to you as a course creator. So later today, we will be going through a lot of um, the features under course setup for you to get, uh, for you to start your course and also um to do a simple editing on the home page mm -hmm. so what else can we see on this um page um, you can also see some of the interactions oh yeah right like, because okay. this is already um a complete course so we do an have some course, yeah, yeah an ongoing course so uh we have like some interactions based on the activity we have on the home page so these are some of the examples of interactions yeah, of that interactions. can happen in a course yes yeah, so these are from the real students yeah yeah, yeah. So you can see um, students are actively interacting in mm -hmm. this course 
And one of the reasons because we have an introduction or an icebreaker mm -hmm. activity, so it gets the student to yep. start interacting with each mm -hmm. other even before they start learning itself. So. We'll get more to that um, as we go this as we are going to explain to you about homepage later on mm -hmm. in our session. Okay. So yeah. Um what else should we um, yeah. okay, so if you have any questions mm -hmm. at all um during this session, feel mm -hmm. free to um Type your questions mm -hmm. in our um, chat on yep. the right hand side of your screen. Yep. And um, we will be going through your questions later mm -hmm. at the end of the course, yep. uh, at the end of the session. Yep. Okay. You can also go to our Twitter and also Facebook account and use the hashtag Hotel Masterclass if you also have any other questions. Okay. Okay. So um, should we start? Yep. Um, for those who just joined at 10 a.m., maybe we should introduce ourselves again. Okay. Ashita. So, um, for those who have been here since just now, so we are going to introduce ourselves again, which is um, I am Suhaila and I'm Mashita. Yeah, and we are the learning designers from KLP in Open Learning. So, um, if you have any questions, if you uh, have any questions, don't forget to ask us in the chat area, chat section, so that you can just uh, we can help you and answer your questions or in our session today. Yeah. Okay. So um, what we are, what you are looking at right now is the uh, the home page of Open Learning. Mm -hmm. So um, if you don't have an account with Open Learning yet, this would be a good time to um, create your account. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. If you can create an account in any other social media, then um, you should be able to create an account in Open Learning. All you need mm -hmm. is an email address mm -hmm. and um, a username and password. That's yep. about it. Yep. And once you have the, the account of learning, once you have signed up, you just have to remember your email address and your password and that's all. So you can just like by having your um, your email address and your password, you can just straight away log in into learning. It's as easy as that. Yeah, true. Okay, so um, we are on the openlearning.com main page. So I am already logged in. So you can see my profile here. I have a profile picture as well. You can mm -hmm. also upload your profile picture. Mm -hmm. And um, right, so I am going to go straight into creating your own course. So just scroll down until you see the word teach and click on teach. <clears throat> right, so um, once you're in openlearning.com slash teach, you can scroll and create a course just click on the orange button and um, so we already have a, a course that we have planned to show mm -hmm. you today so um, if you don't have any course yet that's okay don't worry you can just um, view the video later or mm -hmm. at the end of the session the, the video will be recorded mm -hmm. so you can always um, go back to the video mm -hmm. and view it mm -hmm. okay so for now maybe you would like to just take a look and mm -hmm. see how we can create a course in 30 minutes yes so uh, we'll start with the course name mm -hmm. so um when you when you type in your course name you have to remember that um you should have a general idea on like what kind of course that you want to teach so for example we have this uh, example which is to um, to come up with a course name which is guide to finding your creative flow and after you have written down your course name you see on the url site which is um there's like there's a pop-up saying that saying that um you can use this url mm -hmm. so that means this url this url is unique where we don't have another url that is similar to this so it is um once you have come up with your course name you your course url is automatically derived so, um, but if your course name is similar to another course name, you can't actually use the same. Example. Yeah. So let let us show you an example. Yeah. Yeah. So see, when once we put like guide to find your your creative flow two, uh, the the course URL has been taken. Uh, and so in that case, it cannot be used again. So this is the uniqueness, uh, the unique part of the course URL it means once you have created the first the first name that you use to create. The course title mm -hmm. that should be it. Mm -hmm. So you just have one and one, URL uh, yeah, one URL only for that course. The one and only URL for you. 
right? Yeah. So, um, however, mm -hmm. with the cost title, mm -hmm. you can still change that. Right? Yeah. So we'll show you later how you can change the cost title mm -hmm. once you have created your course. So you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about um coming up yeah. with the best cost title mm -hmm. at this moment in time yet. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you change your mind as you develop the course, mm -hmm. you can still change the cost title. However, mm -hmm. the URL remains the same as uh, Swaila mentioned. It is mm -hmm. unique. So um, if you belong to a certain institution, you might want to um, set your set your course in mm -hmm. the institution. If not, you can just go straight into creating your course. Yeah. Yep. So what are the criteria in order to come up with a good course good title? Course like to, um, you don't have to worry that much in the beginning of you know, the course because you can always rename or change the course name. Mm -hmm. But um, it is also important if you can like when you want to come up with your course name, it should be something attractive, it should be something interesting, it should sound fun because your course title is some sort of your I mean the way you want to promote your course. So you don't want it to to, to make it sound too serious because it may intimidate your students. Mm -hmm. So it, can, it should also be a catchy kind of title, course title. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe to have some marketing edge mm -hmm. to your course title yeah. so you can promote your course to a wider mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so what you can see now is the setup wizard mm -hmm. that we have. Um, so this is the first page that you will see once you click on create your course. Mm -hmm. So what this is, is actually a, a, a course setup, sort of like a checklist, a simple checklist that you have. So um, until you check all these um, button statuses, make sure that it's done and check this off. So you won't be able to make the course uh, live. Mm -hmm. So make sure that um, you fulfill or check all these statuses to make sure uh, before you uh, want to open the course to life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will be going through this uh, setup wizard today mm -hmm. because um, we will be your wizards for today. Mm -hmm. So we'll go straight into the next um, under course setup. Under course setup, if you click on this button in mm -hmm. course setup, you'll go straight into the First one after a setup mm -hmm. wizard, which is outcomes. Yes, outcomes. So um, mm -hmm. there's a star icon there mm -hmm. in outcomes, which shows how important outcomes are in course design. So mm -hmm. um, maybe we can talk a little bit about outcomes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, outcomes are important as it's the spine for your course. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to imagine like a course um, as a house, the outcomes are the foundations of the of your house. So basically, the course learning outcomes. Um, um, what you is what the course learning outcomes is a statement of what you want, you want, students, yes, to you want your students to be able to achieve at the end of your course. Mm -hmm. It could be the knowledge, the ideas, or the skills that you want your students to have. Mm -hmm. And usually, um, to come up with your course outcome. Um, you should have an active verb. You should use an active verb, and you can refer this to Bloom's taxonomy, where you can find like the right verbs to use in order for you to come up with a great outcome. Mm -hmm. And then your outcome should also be measurable, mm -hmm. because this is where by having your outcomes measurable, you can um, easily assess your student and evaluate your students whether they have achieved the outcomes or not. So. Um, and you also want your um, outcomes to be like the basic things in the course because because um, by having these outcomes, this is um, where you use these outcomes to come up with your contents, to come up with your activities, so that everything, every single thing in the course is going towards achieving the outcomes that you have. So that is how important it is, Mashita. Like, yeah. Having great think, outcomes. I think it also works both ways mm -hmm. where um, you will be, uh, once you have set a good course outcome, mm -hmm. you will be um, moving towards, while you are mm -hmm. developing the course, you'll be moving towards achieving mm -hmm. these outcomes. Mm -hmm. And while you are, uh, whilst your students will also be informed of these outcomes and they will know what they will be achieving. So it works or it helps both the course creators as well as the students. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to fill out the course outcomes um, page. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share your screen again mm -hmm. so that you're able to see how we can do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, 
All right. So, so what you can see now is uh, I have filled in the course objective and mm -hmm. also the outcomes. Mm -hmm. So um, what are the differences between course objectives and outcomes? So I think um, we can, what you can say is that um, course objective will be the overarching view yes. of what the what of what you want the student you want the students to achieve at the end of mm -hmm. the course while the outcomes are the breakdowns or the specific mm -hmm. ways that they can achieve mm -hmm. the objectives, yes. right? So while you are developing your course, mm -hmm. um, you will be able to see and um, be reminded of the course outcomes mm -hmm. as you are developing the course mm -hmm. so that, um, okay, um, besides Filling in the outcomes breakdown, mm -hmm. you can also fill in the outcome okay. tags. And why this is so on open learning is because we regard cost outcomes as the most um, important mm -hmm. um, important um, foundation, foundation. And even yes. important feature in, mm -hmm. in the course design yep. so that um, throughout the course or throughout designing the course, mm -hmm. you can tag your outcomes so that um, to to any learning activities or mm -hmm. to any course this uh, course content, so that you will know that on this course content or on this particular page, mm -hmm. this is what is trying to achieve. Yeah. So the course outcomes will be available throughout the course design pages and mm -hmm. not just live in this page only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the function of the outcome text that we show you here is actually. Um, to tag any contents, any page, any activities that you have designed in the course, to tag it to any, to that particular outcome. For example, this apply techniques tag is um, to to align any content, any activities to this outcome. Which means if you have come up with and uh, you have designed an activity that is specifically for your student to achieve um, the first outcome, which is to apply techniques to unlock your creativity in writing. You use this tag in order for your students, in order for you to take note that your students are doing this activity to achieve this particular outcome. Yeah, true, mm -hmm. true. And also in coming up with the tags, make mm -hmm. sure that it's um, descriptive enough mm -hmm. for you to know what uh, this tag be belongs belong to, outcomes, to yeah. which outcome. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. So what you are done on this page, don't forget to click save. Yeah, it's very important. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, um, what's next? So, if you go to course setup again, mm -hmm. the next um, one. The next one is general. So, this is also one of the important um, settings mm -hmm. in the in this course. Uh, in in any course, uh, I'm going to share this URL first, so that you'll be able to view this course. Okay, right. Okay, so um, this is the course that we are creating right now, and this is the URL to this course. So once we make it live, you will be able to view. It's already live. Okay, so you should be able to join this course now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you can see what we have, we have what we are currently yeah. doing, and we you will also be able to participate in mm -hmm. the activities that we are going to yeah. set up later. So you can see that this is um, where we can edit the course name. Yeah. So as you're developing the course, you find that it is um, the course name you might need to, might need to be changed. Mm -hmm. You can edit them here. Mm -hmm. And um, this is where you can set your course thumbnail. Mm -hmm. So on Open Learning, if your course is open to the public, mm -hmm. yes. Like if you right. use the search button and suddenly like you have this idea of oh I feel like I want to learn something about writing so just write on writing and possibly one of the courses that will be um the, will be previewed is this course which is guide to finding your creative flow so um why is it important for you to also put your course thumbnail is your course thumbnail is also part of how you promote your course mm -hmm. so it's very like important to use a proper course thumbnail mm -hmm. and to find to use like an image that is um, related to your contents and that is fun maybe that is attractive enough for your students to you know when they like your potential students when they search for your course online so, so when they see that course thumbnail the image 
together with your course title and you have already you already have a fine course title attract them more into you know and yeah course. joining your course so that's the the um, nice or the good aspect of it yeah yeah, yeah. so it's a uh, one of the important tools in actually marketing course yeah so um next we'll go into classes mm -hmm. so what are classes actually mm -hmm. so when you create a course by default you'll be creating um a one class in mm -hmm. your course but besides that you can also create different classes or mm -hmm. multiple classes mm -hmm. in your course and you can even set up different options for each class yeah. yeah this is applicable if you like if you if you're a teacher and you have like different set of students like for example you have this class mm -hmm. a class b and class c so you want to put them like you want them to learn from the same course but it's just that you want them to be in a different class so this is where you set them and yeah. separate them into different classes so you can see by default we have class of 2018 which is already open so that you can join us in this class but you can also go to change class if you would like to change the class name or change the options for this class so a class can be set as um, requires payment where you can set um, what's the fee for students to join this class mm -hmm. or requires activation code so you can set your own activation code and only give the activation code to mm -hmm. um, the students that you have identified mm -hmm. to join the course yeah. or you can also invite students into a particular class mm -hmm. by inviting them by email mm -hmm. or if, um, if you, you would like yeah. to close a mm -hmm. class or um, have um, in some cases where there are semester based courses mm -hmm. um, you might want to close a, a previous semester's mm -hmm. class but mm -hmm. still use the same course content mm -hmm. with a new semester so yeah. this is one of the ways that you can do that yeah so you mm -hmm. don't have to reinvent the whole course mm -hmm. um all over again mm -hmm. yeah to, to separate the students yeah. but you can just uh, create you a new just, class yeah you just use the same course you just um, and you come up with a different uh, different classes yep. for this yeah. course yeah. okay so I'm going to leave the um, setting to the uh, default end. setting mm -hmm. so that anyone can view this course and click on save changes there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what comes mm -hmm. next after class classes? So the next one is of course landing page. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have under this landing page? As you can see um, on the screen, like we have like most promotional video or promotional picture. Um, when you hear the word, or when you see the word promotional video, or promotional picture, I think you already know what it means for this course landing page. The course landing page is the first page that your students see after the, they search for your course and then they, they click on it. This is the first uh, thing that they will see uh, from your course, which is the course landing page. So um it is very important for you to uh come up with a good um promotional picture or promotional video for this um landing page because this is when you can promote your course to your students to your potential students so for example you, we can we have this promotional picture so we have this promotional picture uh, so we just use this promotional picture but if you have any videos of your own like from youtube you can just um, channel that video link that video just copy the link and paste it in under the promotional video section so you can just paste it there so your video will be some sort of your promotional video on your course landing page and we also have the brief summary right yeah so, so um brief summary is where you can um type in the details that you would like mm -hmm. the students to know before they even join the course for example what would make them join this course what would you teach them and um, as for promotional video promotional video would be useful if um, you would like to use it in um, to promote your courses for example in your social media so um, what would be a good promotional video maybe yes. um, as a course expert mm -hmm. as the expert in this topic you would like to tell your uh, viewers um, mm -hmm. your experiences in mm -hmm. this topic and yeah. why you are very passionate in this topic and why would people want to learn from you yes so that would be um, some uh, good practices yes. of promoting your course yeah and, and you don't have to worry about like I have to 
talk to someone and ask them to create a video for me, yeah. a fantastic video. You know, you can also come up um, by your own way, where you can just record yourself and you know share about yourself, like where where you're interested into teaching this course and what are the things that you are going to teach in this course. So all the all the information about the course you can just explain in your video. So you don't actually have to worry like you have to like spend lots of money just to come up with your videos, your promotional videos. If you can, it's good. But if you can't, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we are just using a, a promotional mm -hmm. image in this um, example course. And if you also um, are, if you are also representing mm -hmm. any organization or institution, you can also include a logo there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And besides that, I have also uh, shared the course outcomes mm -hmm. in this uh, in this landing page, so that mm -hmm. students will know by the end of the course this is what they're going to get. Yeah. So um, that would be um, so. Any information that will um, entice your students to join the course that would be a uh, very good information to put on the landing page. And um, so once we are done here, I'm just going to go straight into. Okay, I'm just <laughs> going to go straight into configure yes. cost appearance. Right. Okay, this is an exciting one. So mm -hmm. um, if you see here in water safety cost that we showed you earlier, you can see there's a big um, banner here. So we can also come up, you can also come up with your own banner, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, we have uh, some simple mm -hmm. um, graphic design tools, uh, for example, yeah. like Canva that you yeah. can also use. Maybe, um, maybe the moderator can share the link to the Canva course mm -hmm. for people to learn about the Canva? course. Or we can share it later in, in the mm -hmm. email. Okay, so, um, so we are going to change this banner and the only thing you need to do is click on change banner. If you would like to know the um, details about the banner, you can also scroll over the eye yeah. icon to look at the dimensions of the banner. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you have the banner ready, just click on change banner and choose a file. Let's make that. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So we should have the banner now and I would like to show the course name on banner and maybe I move the course name to center. So the banner will show after you um, uh, leave this page. So that means mm -hmm. the, your page will be automatically uh, saved. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change the background color as well to suit my banner. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the background color that I have chosen. And you can also pick a background image, yes. but uh, we try to make it as um, uh, as plain, as, as, as simple, yeah, simple uh, as possible and, because it's just the background. You don't want your background to, you know, uh, to, 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 yeah, your to content. overpower your content. So just keep it light. But if you feel like putting an image, it's okay to put an image. It's just you have to remember to keep it light. Okay, right. So this is the background um, yeah. color that I choose and also yeah uh, what's cost navigation here so if you can see we have home announcements and activities and uh, all these other tabs on the left hand side mm -hmm. and it's the same tabs that you can see on the yeah. left hand side here as well so mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to have um, I don't plan to have any groups activity for this course yeah. so I'm going to remove groups and drag it to the right so what happens there is that groups are no longer on the left hand side mm -hmm. that means student will not be able to view the tab anymore mm -hmm. but in the future if i need groups again i can always drag it back to this yeah. side okay all right so um that's for the navigation once that mm -hmm. is uh, once you're happy with that you can go into the real thing which mm -hmm. is there. Adding your content. Yes, adding your content. So, um, what do we put under contents? Of course, if you, as you know, it's content. So this is where you deliver your contents to the to your students, and this is also where you uh, come up with your activities and you you want that your students to um, understand or try to do the activities. This is where this is the most important part, part of, of yes, the course. Part of yeah. The course. 
the G of the cost. Okay, so um, so you can see uh, by default you have a, a module set here mm -hmm. called learning activities, but it's empty. There's mm -hmm. nothing here. Okay, so we are going to create the pages and the modules. Right, so I'm going to create um, two modules, which is um, the first one will be introduction. Okay, let's begin. Mm -hmm. Let's begin. And um, I think at this juncture, I'm just going to create two, uh, two modules, modules, which is the other mm -hmm. one is writing as improvisation. Um, just to make it like to to make it to, to make it feel closer to you like if you're already an educator you may like have like week one week two week three contents yeah. so this is where you can also put it like the first one can be week one the second the second one you can be week two but you can also have like the first one as topic one and the second one is topic two so this is where you can just um play change it and play it. around with it where we would recommend you to come up with a uh, catchy names as well mm -hmm. so that it will, will not sound as serious and you know it will not sound as intimidating so but it will still kill the same words yeah okay we don't really actually want to kill birds <laughs> all right so um i've created a page mm -hmm. now um in the first page i would like to know why do people write mm -hmm. so um and also ask the ask the students why do they want to write. Mm -hmm. So that's the first page mm -hmm. in my course that I want to develop. And um, right, so we are going to develop that. What you need to do is just click on edit mm -hmm. page. And this is where you can see all the widgets on the left hand side for you to develop any type of content that you want in your course. Mm -hmm. So um, would you like to talk a bit more about widgets, Soila, while I develop mm -hmm. the page? Yeah. yeah. So basically, widgets are like some sort of tools that you use in order for you to come up with your content and also in order for you to like come up with your own activities for your course. So as you can see on the left side is where we have like the content widgets and also the share widgets and also we have the other types of widgets. But the main one that we usually use is the content widgets and also the share widgets. The content widgets are the widgets that you use in order for you to deliver your content to your students. And the share widgets are the widgets that that you put in order for your student to reply or to submit to your activities or your content or to share mm -hmm. their ideas, mm -hmm. share their opinions. Yeah. And what's good about um, this sharing widgets mm -hmm. is that um, your students will also be able to co-create the mm -hmm. content with you. Mm -hmm. So it does not mean that as a course creator, all the resources or all the learning only comes from mm -hmm. you or from mm -hmm. the content widgets. Yes. But learning can also happen among the students yes. while they are replying, while they are posting, mm -hmm. and while they are sharing um, their mm -hmm. ideas, opinions, yep. and um, completing, as they are completing your task. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, so this is the first uh, page that mm -hmm. I have uh, developed. So this is the title of my page. I'm going to make um, the heading bigger, okay, and maybe put it in the middle, and then, um, is that? Image that I can add in yeah. here. Um, why write? Okay. Um, so if we can take a look at this, yeah. So I'm going to show you um, an image which is uploading. Yeah. Now you can use this image to make your page more interesting, mm -hmm. like not to just have like just text. Mm -hmm. So it will be like some sort of not interesting for your students that is more like a visual learner. Yeah. So if you can put an image under like why right, just like how we did. So so you can yeah. This is yeah. Sorry. This okay. is a very big image. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to double click on that. So I just double click on that mm -hmm. and change the change size. the size to maybe 350. And I would like it to be in would like it to be centered as mm -hmm. well and maybe um, shadow and what you order. Okay. So that's how it is. That's how it looks. So that's how it looks like mm -hmm. now. And now I'm going to write my content, which mm -hmm. is there are various reasons what we can write. Yep. Yep. So that's my content. I can change the heading if I want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, I don't think so. I'm change. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. So that's the content. Mm -hmm. And um, now what I would like to do is I would like them to watch a video mm -hmm. that shows um, some of the reasons that Why? people write yeah. and then later on for them to share their own reasons. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to share a video now is by clicking on the widget on the left hand side that says mm -hmm. video and you can see here when I click over yeah. there's an insert video here so I just have to click and click to edit so I'm going to find the URL of the video now just paste the URL of the video you can just find it from YouTube or you can also use Vimeo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have a video on your own, you can mm -hmm. also upload a video. Yes. Right? Upload it straight away. Yeah. Okay, so um going to see here. Let's watch the video. Okay. And um if I want to, I can also adjust the start and end points of mm -hmm. the video. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, I will be doing that now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on finish editing. Yes. And so that is our video. Yep. Yes. So now. let's take a look of how this page looks like. I'm going to click on save and close. Mm -hmm. And click on view page. Mm -hmm. Okay. It takes some time to load. Okay. Okay. So while waiting for the page, the whole page. Yeah. Oh, okay, we have the whole page here. Okay. So this is what um students will be doing on the mm -hmm. first page. So you can see that um you don't need any extra authoring tools mm -hmm. to develop yep. content on open mm -hmm. learning. So you can straight away use all the widgets that we have yes. to create different kind of or to mm -hmm. add different kind of media and mm -hmm. content in yeah. your platform and um, okay so next what I want uh, the students to do on this first page is to um, do, do it as a simple activity mm -hmm. so I'm going to add a text widget here mm -hmm. and um, find my activity Add content. Um, this is the activity. Um, maybe I put activity. Why not? Okay. Um, there are also various um, tools mm -hmm. that you can use. Simple yep. um, word authoring tools. Mm -hmm. right? So you can also, if you go to format, um, can also add containers so you have sort of mm -hmm. like a container in your activity mm -hmm. and then so once you have your um, instructions here yeah. what are your reasons share with your peers in the comment section below so students will be able to share their comments or their reasons mm -hmm. here on this commenting section mm -hmm. and if you notice all the pages on open learning has this commenting section mm -hmm. by default yeah so in all the pages that you create, students will be able to comment, to give mm -hmm. their feedback or to share their yes. opinions and ask any questions that yes. they might have yes. regarding the content of that particular page. Right? Yes. This is how much Open Learning loves to see the students interact. So that's why in every page on Open Learning, we have these commenting sections where people, where students can just interact and ask questions and do all other things. Yeah, true. And I'm just going to show one more uh, widget here mm -hmm. that I can add, which is the white space. So if I want to add a white space in, in between mm -hmm. this uh, widget, all I need to do is drag and make sure I insert it here. Mm -hmm. So there's a space between the video and the activity. Okay. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, right. And right. Next, to complete this page mm -hmm. editing, if you scroll up and look at the top left hand corner, there's a click here to upload a new thumbnail. Mm -hmm. I am going to click here and I'm going to use the same mm -hmm. page for the thumbnail. So we're changing the thumbnail. 
you can just see like where to change the time it's just right next to your type your page title and the page title also like you can just rename your page title anytime by just clicking on um, the, the right side the y right still loading it's okay um the function of your page thumbnail is um as you can see in the previous course that we showed in the water safety course the sample course that we showed just now um uh, when you click on learning activities your your page thumbnail also appear there and then there's also your course title yeah this is where the course the page thumbnail is supposed to uh, appear appear i think so, it's uh, quite a big file so yeah, it's still loading yeah it's still okay loading. All right, never mind. That's okay. Mm -hmm. We uh, so why are we going to the next? So yeah, mm -hmm. should we should we add another page? Yeah, we can add another page. Okay, right. So uh, this is oh okay. The thumbnail is loaded, so okay. you can see the um thumbnail here. Mm -hmm. And after we have great uh, right. Okay. So you can see the thumbnail is already mm -hmm. um loaded here, and also um the whole page looks like this mm -hmm. and as a student when i see this i can also answer yes. and put in my answer here mm -hmm. all right and if i have a file to attach an image to share i can mm -hmm. also do that here mm -hmm. and i can just post comment yeah so yes. it looks very familiar there's reply and like so if mm -hmm. you're familiar with um any social media you should familiar with these functions as well yeah. you can like your friends uh, or your peers um, mm -hmm. um, answers mm -hmm. and you can also reply here yeah. okay right so um let's go okay. and let's go create and create another page, page. yes right. um as you can see in this page we use commenting sections as the way like, where your student will reply to your activity in the next page we are going to show you on how to create an activity by using the share widgets so that the students can reply by using the share widget. Okay, yeah. so we'll go back to content. And, and then um, I'm going to create another page under the Let's Begin module, mm -hmm. uh, which is how to name it as Writing Rules. I'm so serious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again. Um, this is where the thumbnails will mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do first is to click on edit page. Yes. Okay. And then um, again. I think the, the cross title. Yeah, yeah, the page title. The page title. And using header two, mm -hmm. middle. And is that an image that I should put in here? Mm -hmm. you, can also, you can just put an image. So these images, you can find it online from the free website. You can use the Creative Commons Zero images. If you if you can't come up with your own, so it's okay. You can just search for this, uh, the images online from the free websites. We have so many of free websites. You can, you can use Pexel, you can use Pixabay, you can use all other free websites for the Creative Commons Zero images. Is it, I'm going to use the same style mm -hmm. so that um, it looks um it's using the same format yeah so it looks like it's the same it's under the same course yeah. Yeah. so um the identity of the course mm -hmm. uh, you can set sort of set the identity mm -hmm. of the course to make the course looks consistent mm -hmm. um right so we're going Here. to put some content as well which are the mm -hmm. rules when you want to start writing mm -hmm. okay and um what if I want to put this in a uh, in spoiler? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep it this way. Okay. okay. So these are the rules when you want to start writing. And now I would like the students to apply these rules yes. with a simple writing activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to um, save this. Okay. And view that uh, I can see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Writing rules. Okay, now I can also click edit here mm -hmm. and add another, another text for the activity. Okay. Mm 
so this activity is um, because once Mashita has come up with the content for this page, so this is the activity that we use in order for us to know and uh, in order for the students to be able to apply those rules, which means they are applying the contents that they have learned. Okay. Yeah. So page. now I would like the students to um, write, uh, produce a piece of writing. Mm -hmm. Um, using the first word that they see in, in a magazine or mm -hmm. in a dictionary, mm -hmm. okay? And they have to do, to do, to do this quite fast. I want them to use the share widget, mm -hmm. which is the full stack. Okay, and what the students will be able to do is um, they'll be able to um, share the writing that they did in that five minutes. In the uh, share text widget, mm -hmm. yeah. share the word that you have selected and your writing below. Share mm -hmm. writing. Okay, so what happens when you add a share widget is that you will also see a gallery widget yes. that comes together mm -hmm. with any share widget. Yes. So, um, what a gallery does is once I share, um, for example, I'm going to do my short writing here. Let's mm -hmm. say the word that I got is power, and the writing that I have come mm -hmm. up with is this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share, and I think um, I can also reflect mm -hmm. on this activity, yeah. which is. Um, the exercise was great. Okay, on post. And then I can see the post for this particular activity. Mm -hmm. So uh, what happens when there are more students that share? Mm -hmm. When more students come and share their answers, then you'll see like more posts here. So what you can do is as uh, as another person in the course, as the student, you can also click on your friend's answer and you mm -hmm. can just like have a look at their answer, their post, and you can just like and comment if you feel like interacting with them, like agreeing with them, or you feel like you need to correct on something, you need to like, oh, maybe clarify with them something, you can also do it here. You can just click on the post and then you'll be able to like or you'll be able to comment. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. And, um, all right, can we get the students to come online and try out or participate in the activities? Viewers. <laughs> okay, so um, if you are online and if you have access to the <laughs> course, you can also come here, uh, come, uh, join the course and participate in the activities. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, but don't worry if you are. Uh, if you don't have access to the course yet, we will be sharing the access mm -hmm. to the course uh, at the end of the session. Thank you. Oh, okay. we have three students that have joined this course, the course. <laughs> while we are developing it. Eh? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, feel free to share, mm -hmm. um, to participate in the activities that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, while you are doing that, um, let's talk about homepage. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to home page. Yes. This is another important page for the course. It's mm -hmm. because it's the first page that your students will see once they have enrolled in the course. Yeah. So just now, when we have come up with the course, it's like the course landing page is the first thing that your students see before they enroll in the course. But after they have enrolled in the course, this is the first page that they will see. And this is where you should really, really catch their attention. Yeah. So when uh, the first page that they see when they join the course, uh, this is where you sort of set the tone mm -hmm. for the whole course. Yeah. Would you like your course to be a very serious mm -hmm. one, uh, uh, a, a, a fun, um, engaging yes. course? Okay, so this is where you can set the tone mm -hmm. and um, maybe come up with a good welcoming uh, message mm -hmm. for, your, for your students. Yeah. And maybe uh, you can also set your expectation yes. on this course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to click on edit to edit the home page, mm -hmm. right? And we have a, the tick box here mm -hmm. on how to create a welcoming home page. And um, you can always view the tips mm -hmm. to find out more. And also, we also have a, a masterclass, right? Yes. Uh, a previous masterclass that shows 
Oh, yeah, on how to create a welcoming homepage. So you can also um, view that. <laughs> Next is, um, okay, I'm not going to use this uh, tick box, so I'm going to remove it mm -hmm. by clicking the X button here. Right, and then um, now I want to edit this. So I'm just going to click to edit, mm -hmm. right? And we already have this course title by default. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to add something here. So which is, I am going to um, begin the course. Right. Feel free, feel free, yeah. Feel free to just play around with it. You can also use your own um, words, your own yeah, sentences true. to welcome your students in the course. Okay, so um, this is my short mm -hmm. um, introduction to this uh, with the students, and also I can also add um, mm -hmm. course information mm -hmm. here, yeah. like for example um, the course outcomes and all mm -hmm. that. So I can just edit, uh, click on edit, and edit the course outcome or mm -hmm. any additional information here. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I can also click to edit this um, box mm -hmm. on getting around for students, mm -hmm. so it can be a yeah. Um, guide for students, for students to navigate the yeah. course. Yes. Okay. Uh, but what I'm going to add now is uh, I'm going to add another um, text widget. text widget and create my introduction activity yes. or mm -hmm. ice breaking activity. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to talk about that? So yes. Um, introduction activity or an ice breaking activity is an important element that you should put in your um, home page because um, as what we like um, in the normal class, in the face-to-face -face class, we will always have um, ice-breaking activity um, use it during our first day or first hour of the class. So that, that, is, that is how important it is in the face-to-face -face class. So that means it is more or even equally important to have ice-breaking activity in the online course as well. Because this is where you want to break the ice, you want the students to start interacting, to feel um, to feel uh, fine or to feel okay that to interact, to feel okay to interact in this course. So this is where you want to set up the mood of the course and also to start um, building um, rapport in this uh, course. Yeah, true. So um, yeah, as Swaila mentioned, mm -hmm. it's a good start for your students to mm -hmm. get a feel that um mm. it is okay it's okay yeah. for them or they, to make them feel comfortable mm -hmm. in talking to their online friends mm -hmm. and online yep. peers so um so this is the activity and they will be um completing this activity together with the together and um, they can start they can start this activity in the commenting session yep. you know? okay mm -hmm. so um that's the activity mm -hmm. Um, that I would like them to do. And yeah, so, and yeah. That's about so it. basically, when you have your introduction activity on the home page, you would want to use the commenting section because that is um, better for students to interact. Like, if you because you will see like a thread of comments like by your students replying to another student, so this is where you can also participate as teacher, which is, um, it will create more interactions between you and your student and also your students to another student. Yeah. So, um, by doing this activity mm -hmm. as well, you will sort of um, push the students towards the direction. Sorry? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. You push the students towards the direction mm -hmm. that you want them to um, move towards, which mm -hmm. is uh, you want them to be active and be fussy, uh, be interacting mm -hmm. in the course. Mm -hmm. And um, by doing this, they can um, familiarize themselves yeah. with uh, the comment section, mm -hmm. um, with um, talking to their online friends, mm -hmm. and um, they feel that it's, it's okay to, um, to to interact or to talk or to give their opinion and feedback throughout the course yep. as well as um, when designing the inter interaction activity it's also important to think that um, 
to make the activity as simple or as um, as as simple as possible mm-hmm. for the students to yeah. um, attend. Um, there shouldn't be sort of like a right or wrong answer yes. in this interaction activity, mm-hmm. so that uh, they are not too intimidated to try the first try activity the before they even start the, the mm-hmm. learning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think we have covered, covered on like how to create a course. We have covered on how to come up with your page, your own page, and to also put contents and activities in your course. So and also the look and feel of yeah, your course and feel of the appearance of your course. Yeah. So um, we hope that you have actually um, found this beneficial. Found, yes, found this beneficial. And if you have questions, you can just ask us. Right? Yeah. We are ready to take any yeah, questions. Take any and questions and try to help you as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah. True. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so is there any questions? Yes, we do have questions. Um, okay. And yeah. Okay, so we have like a questions from Orang Kaya. Woo, hi Orang Kaya. <laughs> so the question is, can you suggest few courses that we can refer as benchmark? The one that are interactive, concise, and comprehensive. We do have that kind of course. So I think Mashita will share the screen later and show you one of our course, I mean, one of the course that we have designed on Open Learning. Okay. Right. I'm going to share screen um, and show you a series of uh, courses mm-hmm. that we have under Reading, Learning and Teaching series. Mm-hmm. What to do now? Right. Share. All right. Okay, so um, in this uh, series of courses called uh, Reading, Learning and Teaching series, we have three courses that's available for you to take a look and look at this, these courses as benchmark. Mm-hmm. Uh, but besides looking at these courses as benchmark, you can also uh, learn from it where the first mm-hmm. course is on instructional design for effective learning. Do join the course mm-hmm. and um, whatever that we have shared today is actually all from these courses. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And um, you can also learn um, Brooke who designed the course is our chief learning officer. Mm-hmm. So um, she has designed the course so that um, you can take a look at the course as benchmark as mm-hmm. well as um, the course content as uh, how to develop mm-hmm. the course, yes. as, yeah, the best practices yes. developing the course. Yes. Yeah. You can refer to all these three courses mm-hmm. uh, so you'll be able to get like um, a more specific ideas on how to create a great mm-hmm. course, on, I mean online, yeah. great online course. And, um, Starting if you are starting from scratch, mm-hmm. like what we have showed you today, mm-hmm. there's also a very good um, yes. friendly template yes. on um, how do you design mm-hmm. uh, or how do you come up with your course yeah. plan first before mm-hmm. you even start um, the, uh, start creating the course on the platform. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, the third course is from um, Nick, which is on facilitating an online course. Mm-hmm. So how do you facilitate? Facilitate and mm-hmm. active learning course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, um, do we have any more questions? Maybe, like, if anyone wants to ask more questions. Oh, okay. So, we have one question from Aiza98. Um, once we publish the course, can we view and edit the course? Who can view the course? Registered students or only or public? Okay, so that depends on the settings that mm-hmm. you have set in general uh, under course setup general mm-hmm. okay so i'm going to share the screen again mm-hmm. and show you where is that again mm-hmm. um right should we do <coughs> so in this course mm-hmm. that we have um, created earlier okay if you go to course setup and you go to general. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, there are several um, settings here yes. that's involved. Mm-hmm. Okay, first is your default class setting. Mm-hmm. You have to, um, there are several options here. Mm-hmm. So if you have set to anyone, 
then it's the public that can view the course mm -hmm. and if you set to invite only or requires activation mm -hmm. code then mm -hmm. um, only those that you invite or you mm -hmm. give the activation code yeah. will be able to view the yeah, course, course. Yeah. Yeah. if you select no one that means mm -hmm. those students that have already joined the course yeah. will still have access to the course mm -hmm. but new students will not be able yeah. to see the course anymore yeah although you have made your course online you can still edit your course if, mm -hmm. if you have things more things to update if you mm -hmm. want to like upgrade your contents so um you can still edit your course but it is also important for you to um to prepare yourself prepare the course like so that you don't have to change that much when mm -hmm. you have put the course online so that is where the you know you can just toggle between online to offline so once the course are like Maybe you can see it's almost ready, just that it needs some of the changes and just want to put it online. You can just um, put the course online and still edit and um, edit more content into the course while, yeah. you know, while making it uh, online to your students. Yeah. So there are pages that you can also um, still hide from mm -hmm. the students mm -hmm. if you yeah. hide the, um, uh, if you hide the module set in mm -hmm. the appearance uh, that we showed just now. Mm -hmm. So you can still work on those while the course is running and certain pages you can be made online and available while certain yep. pages can still be edited. Yep. Okay, okay. Um, any other questions? Okay, um, can open learning arrange a course focusing on assessment parts such as prepare assessment until report data? from year one so yes um we will we are working towards uh, developing a course in the learning and teaching series that we showed just mm -hmm. now so the fourth course would be on assessment um so we, yeah stay tuned until, until we have we have the course make the course online, online. you can just on enroll into the course yeah. yeah but while you are um mm -hmm. waiting for that mm -hmm. uh, there are also help areas yes that you can to share where to find that yeah. that you can um, uh, use to refer to setting up assessment mm -hmm. if you click on assessment um say report design mm -hmm. so if you click on report design you can see mm -hmm. um there's a series of youtube and um references where you can mm -hmm. um Get information. Get, get information on how to develop assessment on mm -hmm. open learning. Yep. So um, as you can see here, um, open learning develops the assessment features based on outcome-based assessment. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have um, that's why we have um, focused or we have um, stressed on the importance of coming up with good mm -hmm. outcomes earlier today before you even start. Um, developing your course modules and the content. Yeah. Okay, so we have another question, Mashita, uh -huh. which is from Azian Hariri. Mm -hmm. So Azian Hariri, hello there. <laughs> he asked about like, do you have mobile apps? Can students open on handphone? Yes, we do have mobile apps. You can find it on Google Play Store and also. Okay, I think. Okay. Um, Currently, our mobile app is yeah, uh, taken down from the, uh, oh yeah, the from, from the from the Play Store and, and, and the yeah. App Store. So because uh, we are currently updating the mobile app, okay. but those who have downloaded our mobile app before, they mm -hmm. still have access to it. Mm -hmm. It's just that if you're going to download it mm -hmm. now, uh, you will be able to find it yet yeah. until we um upgrade the mobile app yeah. to a newer, better, shinier. Yeah. But you don't have to worry. If you still want to use your phone, you can always use your mobile browser and just open up like openlearning.com and you'll be able to see, um, you will be able to see um, the courses from your mobile as well. So, yes, we're currently working. Yeah, see, like, we have like our guardian angels that are answering the question for Azian Hari as well. <laughs> So uh, a question for Erica Chia, mm -hmm. can you please share a template for planning your course before creating it on the platform? Yes, um, at the end of this session, mm -hmm. uh, we will be sharing with you the link to the course together with our general template that mm -hmm. we also use here mm -hmm. in Open Learning. So you can use the same template that we are using to create our courses and 
the template that we actually used to create the course that you see you saw just now. Thank you, Erica Chia, for the question. Yes, thank you, Erica. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, is there any other question? Okay. Can you please focus on assessment part? Mm -hmm. Um, for today, this is our. This these are all things that we um we have covered. The, the things that we have covered. That's all for today. Mm -hmm. But um. The topic for yeah, today is topic uh, creating, a course, creating a course in 30 minutes. Um, for, assessment, for assessment, it will be it will have to be a different session mm -hmm. because that will take us another 30 minutes, minutes at least. least. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so. Uh, so, um, so as to yes. said, stay tuned for yeah. the next round of mm -hmm. uh, masterclass yes. or the um, free course that's mm -hmm. coming up on the okay. open. Learning, teaching, and mm -hmm. reading, teaching, and learning yep. series. Yep. Thanks, Shiv. Sorry, I'm trying to read out the names. Uh, Shiv Kanya Jaju. So, yeah, stay tuned for the next um, assess that's for the next course on reading, uh, teaching, learning series. Yeah, learning series. Yeah. All right. Any other questions that um, we should get to? It? Hi. You're welcome, all of you. <laughs> okay, um, so, so is that it? Is that it? Is that all the questions? If you have more questions, you can just you can always ask the OL yeah. Masterclass yeah. in mm -hmm. our um, Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter account. And Twitter. Yeah. So um, just use the hashtag and ask this question, just post your questions. We will um, try our best to cater to all your questions and answer it because we have we have all these people to help us to answer these <laughs> questions and we will also try our best to um, help you and assist you as much as we can. Um, so just want to wrap up what we have uh, today. What we have learned today. It's like that uh, you can just go to like to create a course, you can just go to teach and then create a course and you just can just come up with your course title and your URL will just be the same. And you can always uh -huh. come back to the course and mm -hmm. edit and design mm -hmm. the course. Um, and um, make sure you use the course uh, general template that mm -hmm. we will be uh, sharing with yeah. you to um, mm -hmm. come up with a good design of the course. As mm -hmm. uh, you have seen, I think uh, we don't need much um, authoring mm -hmm. skills, uh, video editing skills to create a good course. What would be most important are your ideas and that will mm -hmm. be um, the the uh, that will be most important when you come when you want to come up with a course to engage your students. So make sure that the learning activities that you design is aligned to the course outcomes mm -hmm. and also um, getting the students um, to interact in the course is also important. Mm -hmm. um, but in order for them to do that, you need to be able, you need to give them the platform for them to interact. So that is usually through learning activities. Yes. And uh, on the open learning platform also, there's a lot of features with, that you can use. And there's a commenting section on every page. And there's um, other features that we haven't covered today mm -hmm. that will um, that you will be you can use to make sure that mm -hmm. your course is as interesting and engaging as possible. Yeah. Um, so um, if you have any other questions later on, you can okay. always contact us via yeah. our social media um, mm -hmm. and also our customer service yes. helpline, mm -hmm. which is available um, yes. during office hours. Yeah, I think we have a question from Erica as well that she asked whether we have, do you have helpline that we can call? Yes, we do have. You can just call our helpline at 0326306499. So I repeat again, it's 0326306499. So you can just call that our customer. Um, service. Customer services will, I mean, service officers will feel um, pleased to help you. So it's okay, they will feel glad to help you. So just call this helpline or you can also contact us via our social media by using the tag OL, yes. hashtag OL yes. Masterclass. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's also another channel which is you can also um, Comment. Have your questions in the comment section below this video. All right, so um, thank you very much for watching and for being with us today. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Sorry, mm -hmm. I think that's all for today. Just that I feel excited and I also feel like 
you know, share conduct this. and share this session with you. Hopefully, it helps. And yeah. um, okay, so thank you very much for watching, and um, we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you.